With the help of our new friend, Ping Pong, and Lisey's rescue message found in a bottle, Emperor Pung Ging ordered our release from the Dungeons of Pain. From the message, we learned that Lisey was the prisoner of the mean old Mrs. Grindtooth. Jim and I took Emma to free Lisey and the other children, even as the sinister Prime Minister, P. Papo, plotted to stop us. Before leaving, I just had to tell my buddy Jim the truth, that Mommy Watsay loves him, even though he was adopted. worse than sewer rats. Oh, now if I only had some brilliant scheme for getting rid of them once and for all. <clears throat> hmm? Prime Minister Peepapo, I might just have an idea. This, my lord, is a copy of the map the Flowers of Learning gave Jim and Luke. Here's the shrimp roll tree they're using as a landmark. And here, very close by, we have the White Marble Palace. As you know, no one who's gone in there has ever come out. It was there that my wise, kindly predecessor disappeared. That is, right after I suggested he go there on a tax-collecting route. But how can we throw Jim and Luke off course and get them into that palace? Oh, bright star of burning brilliance. It just so happens I have a solution for that. But we'll need your official vehicle. Follow the Yellow River until the fork in the road where there's a shrimp roll tree. Then you take the road that runs to the right of the tree. Luke, looks like we're getting pretty close to that shrimp roll tree. I sure hope you're right, Jim. We've only got three days to reach the western gate and get out of this country. And remember, according to the 21 Flowers of Learning, that gate only opens once every hundred years. So we better make sure we're right on time. Yeah, you said it, buddy. Because if we can't leave, we can't save Princess Lisi. <laughs> Woohoo! You incompetent pedal pushers! When we get back to the palace, I'll have you pacing a jail cell! May Wen T, just where is this famous shrimp roll tree? Hmm? Perfect! We don't have a minute to waste. Now, do we? I trust that our Prime Minister in shining light of wisdom, P. Papo, is not injured. Just get this tree off me, you goons, and plant it on the other side of the crossroads! Now! Luke! There's the tree! Ray. Now we just take the road that runs to the right of it, and we'll be at the Western Gate by tomorrow, pal. By tomorrow, those two do-gooders will have disappeared forever. Because no one who enters the White Marble Palace ever comes out again. <laughs> Luke, why are we stopping? We could still cover a lot of ground before nightfall. <sighs> Sorry, Jim. Good old Emma needs some fresh water. And you and I need a good old meal. We all gotta keep our strength up if we're gonna rescue the princess. Food, water, whatever you wish, respected stranger. My soul desires to satisfy your every need. Huh? On my wedding day for my love.
Who's singing that sad, sad song? That's old Sulin, a most unfortunate woman who happens, however, to make the best pastry in the whole region. Many days of frock, countless evenings of pain, for never, my love, did I see him again. I wept his loss for long, long years, yet to no avail did I shed my tears. <laughs> I, I beg your pardon, kind strangers. I didn't know you were here. Please, don't apologize. Your song is so beautiful, yet so sad. How come? Alas, my boy, it tells my own sad story. I was engaged to a handsome young man, but he disappeared on our very wedding day, and no one has ever heard from him since. Oh, how he used to love my pastry. <laughs> Ma'am, excuse me for not minding my own business, but it seems to me that even if you have lost your fiancé forever, you have managed to maintain your love for him. That may be a heavy treasure to bear, but it's still a magnificent one. You are very kind. Please accept this pastry as a token of my gratitude. As you eat it, have a thought for sad old Sulin. Don't worry, ma'am. My friend Jim and I won't forget you, and that's a promise. Mmm. Yum. Delicious. Aren't you gonna eat yours, Jim? Hmm? Uh, I'm not hungry, Luke. I'll eat it later. Still thinking about that sad old woman, huh? What an unhappy story. Su Lin has spent her whole life waiting for her fiancé. And maybe I'll never see Princess Lacey again, either. Oh. You can't give up hope, buddy. You'll probably be seeing Lacey real soon. And maybe even Su Lin will find her lost fiancé one day. Hmm. The Flowers of Learning told us that our road runs alongside the Yellow River. We haven't seen a river for quite a while now. Wow. If this is a dream, I don't want to wake up. Yeah. What an incredible palace. <laughs> Come in, gentlemen. Enter the White Marble Palace. We're waiting for you. Maybe these young women can put us up for the night. I wouldn't mind sleeping on a soft bed for a change. Uh, no offense, Emma. <laughs> Pardon this disturbance, ladies. Shh, don't say a word. You are our guests, of course. You're welcome to stay here as long as you wish. I do remember my name. I'm Tom, but what am I forgetting? Uh, oh. And what's your name, handsome young stranger? Uh, 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 J Jim Button, ma'am. <laughs> well, Jim Button, this is your room. Do you like it? This is... This is fantastic. And all these toys are for me? That's right, Jim. And when you get tired of them, we'll bring you new ones. Oh, this is absolutely extraordinary. It's unbelievable. A DeVito. This is the first locomotive I ever wanted to drive. <laughs> well then, be my guest. Don't be shy. <laughs> Go ahead and drive it. Harder, sisters. Oh, it would be unfortunate if our guests decided to leave us. Oh! 
My little rabbit got broken. I've got to find some glue to repair it. Those nice palace ladies will surely be able to help me. Miss? Miss? Where are you? Hmm. War is pointless. I propose that it be replaced by an annual pillow fight. I also advocate that we tear down all prisons and build schools in their place. <laughs> well, hello there, young fellow. Hello. I really liked your idea, sir. You know, a wise man like you would make an excellent minister or advisor to the Emperor. Why, thank you, but I'm fine right where I am. Outside, no one ever listens to me. Yeah, well, I know one minister who ought to model himself after you. Uh, um, a certain Pee-Pa-Po. Pee-Pa-Po. Hmm, the name rings a bell. I vaguely recall that I was once a minister in a great country. Oh, but that was long ago. So, what brings you this way, little boy? Do you want to submit a bill to me? No bill, sir. Uh, I just wanted to... Uh, I mean... Uh, I just don't seem to remember now. It uh, probably wasn't very important. Goodbye. Hmm. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm Tom. Would you care for some pastry? Uh, no. No, thank you. Ah, they're delicious. I just love pastry. And there's definitely no shortage of it here. And the only trouble is, I can't seem to remember something really important. That's funny. Because I'm also trying to remember something. Perhaps we're both wondering what we're doing here. Nah, that can't be it. Because I'm not sure I've ever lived anywhere else. What about you, Mr. Tong? Hmm, hang on a second. No, I, I, I don't remember either. Anyhow, it can't have been very important. No point worrying about it. You're right. I'm going back to my toys. Goodbye, Mr. Tong. in my books. They laughed. We've got it. Yes, and thanks to me, Dr. Stethoscope. Don't think I don't know that fire is what makes you laugh. No, 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 Mrs. Granger. I don't think that was... <laughs> oh, looks like this method doesn't work too hard. Oh, Jim, you don't know how much we need rescuing. Please hurry up and get us out of here. Lisi. Yes. Now I remember. It's Lisi. I have to rescue Lisi. Oh, no. And I just remembered the Great Wall and the gate that only opens once a century. Oh, I hope we're not too late. Luke! Luke! Where are you? Please, answer me. Oh, I'll never find them in here. Gotta calm down. Breathe deeply, Jim. Believe in yourself. Believe in your friendship. Luke. Luke. 
Luke! 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 We've got to get out of here now! This palace is one big trap! Oh, hi there, kid. Do I know you from somewhere? Your face looks kind of familiar. Luke, it's me, Jim, your best friend, Jim Button. And we have to leave right now. Leave? Why, what for? This is a great place, kid. Say, would you mind passing me that number 12 wrench? Huh? Tong! Tong! Please, you've got to help me. This palace is under some evil spell. My best friend Luke has forgotten who I am, but I remember everything. If your memories put you in such a sorry state, Jim, you'd be better off going back to... to... this cake. Uh, can I... Uh, can I taste it? This cake? Su Lin! My sweetheart! My word! Our wedding! Oh, dear! I'm, I'm going to be late. Yes, I remember now. My poor Su Lin. I forgot all about her. In fact, I've forgotten my whole life while wasting all my years in this... in this... mirage! No! Oh, Jim, we have to get out of this place! Make a sound, they might hear us. I bet one of those sisters locked your Emma up in there. You really think you can get in there, Tom? It should be a snap now that my memory is back. Relax, my friend. We've got to find Luke. Wait here. Jim Button, what are you doing there? Nothing, ma'am. I... I was just trying to get some sunshine. I think something peculiar is going on, sisters. Emma? That's Emma's whistle. Jim must be in trouble. <gasps> don't resist, Jim. You don't stand a chance. Give in to the sound of the chimes and forget, forget everything, Jim Button. Just forget and be happy. Hang in there, Jim. Don't listen to him. gifts and make us nothing but your pathetic puppets? Sorry, lady, but nobody enslaves me and my friend Jim or locks up my Emma. <laughs> Time to make tracks out of here, Jim. I don't want to be around when those three beauties lose their tempers. Ah! <laughs> He said the starter, but how can I tell which one it is? I'll just have to try one out. Well, maybe this one. <laughs> Mr. Tong, you're home at last. 
There's someone here who's been waiting for you for a very long time. Are you sure you can't stay for our wedding? Unfortunately, no. You see, we only have one more day to reach the Western Gate. Bye, Tong. We wish you all the happiness in the world. Bye, Minister! Goodbye, Jim. Thanks for freeing me and saving the rest of my life. Farewell, Luke. Good luck to both of you. Many days of hope, countless evenings of pain, for never my love did I see him again. Hello, Su Lin. <gasps> Sorry I'm a little bit late. Did you make my favorite cake? Tong! Oh, Tong! It's really you! Oh, 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 easy does it, Su Lin. We're not kids anymore. Oh, oh, oh. Prime Minister Pee-Papo! Jim and Luke escaped from the White Marble Palace. Two of our guards overheard a conversation. May win tea, you beetle-brain bungler. Your brilliant scheme was a pitiful failure. Jim and Luke still have an excellent chance of reaching Princess Lisa, which means that I may have no chance of becoming <gasps> Emperor. Ping pong! <gasps> what a pleasant surprise! <gasps> Grab him! <laughs> from reaching Jim and Luke. In a couple of hours, they'll be at the Great Wall. We'd better warn old Lady Grindtooth, and fast! Yeah, unless she's already burned all of Dragon City down to the ground. Mm -hmm. 